Honorable Guy Fisher here, man, you know, OBH Finest. Guy been rapping for some time. A lot of people been watching him all over the gram. They've been watching him through Neek Ball's page. They've been watching him through everybody page that has honor. But I want for y'all to get to know him today. I want y'all to know who he is, what he been through, how he carry it. But first, I want to ask you, what's your association with the men? Like my brothers, you know what I'm saying? My brother niggas, I was like 16. I got to talk up too. Yeah, I knew them niggas, I was like 16, you know what I mean? We running around the streets, going with niggas, bro, you know what I mean? And we just, we clicked, you know what I mean? I met Leek when I was like, yeah, I met Leek when I was like 15, 16, ain't putting down uh, them German town where I had to put some bad new shit, you know what I mean? Always put niggas against each other back then. Right. It was like that's what it was. So it was like he hot, y'all y'all definitely going bad. Like, right. I mean he did whatever he did that day. I never before that, like I was always good at rapping, you know what I mean? But I never met a nigga that like rap like how we rap, you know what I'm saying? We were kids at that time. So my thing is this though. You come in the game, fresh off the back. Everybody you connected to is basically rappers, but they from the street. So when you come in the game, you like, damn, Leak is of it on the music side of things. But you saw what Ant does, so it inspired you. So that's what y'all got to start really digging. That sometimes that feeling that you get, you might hear or see something. A dude might be talking slick or kicking something that's Savannah or got something to do with legal and that, that feeling you get, that's something for you to tap in on. That's your energy, you know what I'm saying? So, at what age did you feel like, damn, I really, I really can make a track? Like a 16. I felt that when I first started rapping, like, I felt like I was ready to go. Like, after my first rap, like, my main nigga was telling me I was ready to go. So. I right. never believed in that shit though. There's you know we running around, we, right. we in the streets, we doing whatever we doing, like right. you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't put no money on the table. I got calls a couple times to go on niggas DVDs and shit. So I can remember at the studio every morning around <laughs> six or seven when the lights start coming on, you at the door. Open the door, you in there, and you will, you will work with Dingo. What was different then than now? Because the reason why I'm asking you that is because you was I saw you in there day in and day out, but it was like you wasn't really making a lot of music. You was just there. Was you learning? Was you being inspired more by what everybody was saying? Or was you just getting a feel of it? You see, back then, too much content like you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm one of the rappers like I gotta I gotta do like we'll do some shit like you know what I'm saying I'm really giving y'all my life for it you know what I'm saying a page from somebody like like you know what I'm saying so back then it wasn't like I don't know so is it safe to say because I know the type of person you is your ego and everything is it safe to say that back then you really just couldn't rap that well and it's like I'm not gonna come out and jump out here while all these spitters is here Cause that's an honor. You know, I'm never gonna say that. I always thought I was hot. I'm the hottest nigga in the fucking Philly, right. the tri state area right now. I'm gonna say that, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. So no, I don't think it was that. You know what it is, though? What it was is A was really doing his thing, like, you know what I'm saying? It was like, he was always pushing A at that time. He was following protocol. I was in the job, I was rapping. Rats probably wasn't as good, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And A just hit, everything hit, bang, bang, bang. Then you got leap, everything hit, everything right. leap going in. Ah, like, these niggas just assassinating tracks. So it's right. like, if you ain't doing that, it's like, what are you doing right now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you I don't it. think I was assassin right then at that moment. All you right. know what I mean? Right, so, this new track you got out, right? Yeah. A lot of people, are, we we getting a lot of different um, good, you know, everybody is saying something good about the track, the video you just put out. What's the name of that video again? Freedom Mob. Freedom Mob. Now, you're speaking about freedom men, but I hear you in the beginning, you say, you freed yourself first, and you said you had to free your mind. Yeah. 
that right there, that's like, they come from jail, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Being locked up and shit. And it, it sounds corny, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's true, like, you in the joint all day, you just looking at four walls, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't free your mind, you're gonna go crazy in there, like, you know what I'm saying? I had to get closer to a wall, like, you know what I'm saying? I had to start reading more books and shit. And just, you know what I'm saying? Doing anything to, like, escape that time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't get out that shit, but it's like, man, I close my eyes and just think, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like a no-win situation because you, 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 you booked in, but what were you doing while you were booked? And I know this was only a little small stint, so you might not have been doing a lot of things like going to educational things, but what were you actually doing in there? Because you came home to me, as far as I'm concerned, you came home a lot better, you know what I'm saying? You came home with that energy, like, I'm like, God damn, how did, where did God get this energy from? Like. Do you think that prison gave you that urge to step it up because it's something that you don't want to do? I'm asking you that because it's a, it's a million and one youngins out there. And we want to, no matter what our past is, things we've been through, and no matter how aggressive our approach is, we want for them to grasp the fact that coming home from jail made you have a mentality of not wanting to go back. So here it is, you dropping song after song. Every time Leek Moss, it's on a big billboard or he's somewhere with somebody, I see you too, or I hear you. Are you planning on sticking with rap or is this like a temporary thing? What is it? Rap, I'm a rapper, man. I'm sticking with this shit, man. Like, this is what it is. Like, right. I had, uh, like I said, I always thought I was good. Like, I always had people tell me I was good. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like. I, when I said earlier, I wasn't assassin at that point in my life, like, you know what I'm saying? When I first started rapping, I was not assassin, couldn't look like, I like, put anybody in front of me, I'm gonna take my life, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. But at that point in my life, it just was like, it wasn't there, like, you know what I'm saying? So I had to, I just had to get that back in me, like, you know what I'm saying? Leek always told me I had it, like, you know what I'm saying? So I just had to hone in on that shit, like. So how much?